Life sometimes cajoles you, sometimes jolts you, and sometimes tramples you. What matters is your attitude to treat each phase as a learning experience and come out better and stronger. As rightly said by Ratan Tata, ups and downs in life are very important to keep us going because a straight line even in an ECG means we are not alive. Today we would discuss about an author who created waves with her fictional masterpiece that is adored by millions of kids and grown-ups alike. Yes, you are right. It is none other than the creator of Harry Potter series, the British novelist J.K. Rowling, who in 1997 took the world by storm. She spun a world of magic and fantasy which thrilled everyone. While travelling from Manchester to London King's Cross in 1990, the British author first thought of the character and his world of magic. It took her nearly seven years to create Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Do you know her work was initially rejected by the publishers? She was rejected 12 times before her work could see the light of the day. A Bloomsbury editor finally picked up the book for an advance of just pounds 1,500. Her editor suggested that she get a teaching job as it was unlikely that she would earn a living from writing children's books. The book went on to become one of the best-selling series in the history and was adapted into a blockbuster film franchise. J.K. Rowling once said, I was not going to give up until every single publisher turned me down, but I often feared that would happen. One of the famous quotes of J.K. Rowling is, It is impossible to live without failing at something unless you live so cautiously that you might as well not have lived at all, in which case you fail by default. J.K. Rowling's life in true sense is rags to riches tale, going from unemployed single mother, as poor as it is possible to be in modern Britain without being homeless, to one of the most successful and affluent women in Britain. J.K. Rowling was born on 31st July 1965 in England. The idea for the Harry Potter series had come to her years before on a train ride from Manchester to London in 1990. Soon after conceiving the idea for Harry Potter, Rowling began to write, but death of her mother immediately pulled her away from her work. Rowling slipped into a deep depression. To pull her out of the state of depression, Rowling moved to Portugal in 1990 to teach English for a year. She set the goal of having the first Harry Potter book done by the time she returned from Portugal. Things did not go as planned. There she met and married a Portuguese journalist. The couple's daughter was born in 1993, but her marriage ended in divorce. Rowling moved to Edinburgh with her daughter to live near her younger sister. Rowling spent the next few years struggling to meet ends. During this period, her depression took a dark turn and she considered herself a failure. She even contemplated suicide. Luckily, she found it in her to seek help and writing became an outlet. She had worked on a few chapters in Portugal, but she only really found her momentum back in the UK. While struggling to support her daughter and herself on welfare, Rowling worked on her first book in the Harry Potter series. At her lowest point, Rowling woke up every morning with severe depression and a crippling fear that her two-year-old daughter, whom she loved dearly, would be dead. It was almost a surprise to me every morning that she was still alive. I kept expecting her to die. It was a bad, bad time. In her own words, Rowling describes herself prior to Harry Potter as being the biggest failure I knew, yet within her failure, she found liberation. I was set free because my greatest fear had been realized, and I was still alive, and I still had a daughter whom I adored, and I had an old typewriter and a big idea, 
and so rock bottom became a solid foundation on which I rebuilt my life. J.K. Rowling's story provides testimony to the fact that right attitude and approach can make the wheel of fortune turn to you. Hardly able to afford rent for her apartment, she began to spend her days at cafes. With her daughter by her side, she continued writing until she had a full manuscript. Finishing the book was only the beginning. Rowling now had a novel. But she needed a publisher. She was rejected 12 times before her work could see the light of the day. She was not deterred by rejections and kept on trying. She rightly said, I had nothing to lose and sometimes that makes you brave enough to try. She took failure as a learning experience and a stepping stone towards success and did not consider it an indication of her self-worth. She knew failures were guiding her towards the right path. This reminds me of the famous quote of Thomas Elva Edison, the man behind electric bulb. He once said, I did not fail, I discovered 10,000 ways that won't work. This is optimism and positive attitude and never say die spirit. And the rest is history. Now we know her as a famous author whose book sold more than 500 million copies. So, J.K. Rowling's own words are very true. It is impossible to live without failing at something unless you live so cautiously that you might as well not have lived at all, in which case you fail by default.